Hey guys, so it's not often you see an overhaul mod in Total War that can effectively do what an ideal, officially made game in the series could be like. Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD comes really close to being a Medieval 3, Dividate Impera has all the bells and whistles of a potential Rome 3, and in this video I'm going to show you all the reasons why, especially with the latest and final update released last week, the mod I'll be covering is pretty much the Empire 2 Total War we could ever want and desire. Now Empire stands out as one of, if not the most ambitious games in the Total War series. It marked the debut, of course, of the brand new Warscape engine, from the visually stunning naval battles to the gunpowder-fueled conflicts on Empire's battlefields, and the intriguing new technology trees, and of course, the massive map of the world. Diving into this game during my teenage years was an unforgettable experience. That being said, it has to be acknowledged that the game had its rough edges and it certainly didn't age well at all. The AI frequently struggles to grasp the mechanics it's presented with. The Warscape engine, while adequate for ranged combat, exposed its weaknesses in close quarters clashes, and the game's stability in terms of performance left something to be desired, especially when compared to other titles. Fortunately for us, the modding community intervened, and while Empire 2 Total War the mod might not yet match the stature of others like Darth Mod, Imperial Splendor, or Pirate Uberalis, this latest version modernizes the game in so many ways while innovating with new mechanics and expanding faction rosters and replayability in ways that are so far beyond any other mod out there, let alone vanilla Empire Total War. The last time I covered Empire 2 was over a year ago where the mod developer's ambition was to combine lots of different great Empire mods into one big one to create the ultimate experience for the game, where the AI behaves a bit less randomly, where through the VDM mod you get hundreds of custom scripts and events that really adds much needed depth, all with really engaging battles and lots of unique units. It was a one of a kind mod back then, but now in this final version, it's even better. Starting with the campaign, we've got an early start date of 1700 and a late start date of 1783, each with unique start positions and a variation of the factions. There are also now 26 new cultures, which completely replace the religious system from the Vanilla Empire. What this means is now throughout the campaign, you'll be faced with a huge range of cultures and different styles of factions to assimilate or convert as you expand your territory, which is a really fantastic little addition here. With over four and a half thousand units, 40 playable factions, seven new regions on the map, and not to mention the playable multiplayer co-op campaign, there is so much here that is improved. Now, one of the best new features here in version 4.0 that I have to talk about is technology progression, because the vast number of units, of course, is a bit over the top at first glance. How are you ever going to use over four and a half thousand units? But a brilliant tech feature now is that you start with a military based in pike and shot warfare and over time you move on to napoleonic warfare so through technology your military roster will eventually be completely different and when you apply that to dozens of different factions of various areas on the map their naval cavalry and artillery units as well plus on the two different start date campaigns suddenly four and a half thousand units make sense and that variety is pretty damn impressive Empire 2 Total War also, as always, integrates the popular Vedance Disease mod, but this time more refined. This robust mod introduces elements like sporadic outbreaks of smallpox, cholera, and flu, as well as the possibility of fleets encountering storms at sea, natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and a revamped trait system for ministers. It also addresses aspects like inflation, religion, and cultures, all of which have substantial impact on your factors. A significant portion of the campaign's enhancements derives from VDM directly, so players familiar with the mod will feel right at home in Empire 2, and for those new to it, get ready for a vastly expanded Empire experience. 
Playing as France and the Pirates faction, which is a ton of fun by the way, I highly recommend it. I encountered numerous instances where the AI proved more challenging compared to the vanilla game. The AI appeared more strategic in invading my territories, responding to my own invasions, and displaying greater diplomatic initiative. While the extent to which these new systems and mechanics affect AI behavior remains uncertain, it's clear that similar to mods like Darth Mod, the AI demonstrates improved decision making abilities on the campaign side at the very least. But as you get deeper into the campaign of Empire 2 Total War's final version, you'll start noticing even more changes here and there that have a huge impact on gameplay. You can now have 40 unit armies, which applies to multiplayer as well. There are new UI improvements, campaign models, and historical portraits, which add really a lot to overall atmosphere of the game. And there are huge mechanical changes, like the fact that factions, unless you use a sub mod, don't start with vassals anymore, or that the economy has been reworked to allow the AI to build even more armies than usual, adding to that difficulty factor here. On the battle side of things, everything looks just as good as it did before, but we've also got completely unique and redone rosters for Persia, for Native American factions and Indian factions to flesh them out a bit more, plus we've got updated battle sounds and music, and most importantly, we've got better and more realistic ranged cannon fire, so it's not as hit or miss as before, mostly miss, but seems a bit more balanced and usable, which is a great thing to see. Now the only thing I have to mention is that things in the mod aren't yet still 100% stable. The modders are aware of all of this and are working on it, and despite all of the issues, of course, the mod is still pretty good, way better than the last time I had a look at it, especially from a content and balance perspective. And I think that once all these issues are resolved, or at least when it's in a more stable state, it will probably be, for me, the best mod ever made for the game. Overall, Empire 2 Total War holds so much promise as an outstanding mod for Empire. It features impressive units, diverse faction choices, exciting additions to campaign gameplay, captivating music, and an AI that at times surpasses the vanilla version. The latest update does wonders to bring it up to par with other mods like Darth Mod or Pirates Uber Alice, and I'm sure once all the worst offending bugs and issues are fixed, it'll be even better. Now in terms of downloading and installing the mod, it's gotten a bit more complicated since last time, but the modder has created a really, really good comprehensive installation guide document that you can use. Once you download version 4.0 from the ModDB page and you open it up, make sure to check on this document before you do anything else. It will help you in great detail to installing the mod. If you're still having issues though, you can also join the Discord server where there's a regular update on bugs and crash issues and where people can help you with the installation. And that's it for today guys, Empire 2 Total War is an exceptional mod that I really encourage you to explore. With this final update, it presents a unique perspective on the game, merging the best aspects of other mods while introducing its own innovative features to both the campaign and the battles. I've dropped a link to the mod in the video description as well as the Discord server, so get in there and check it all out. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, do give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comments section below. I can always try and help you with the installation here on the video as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.